Welcome everyone to this encounter between Salem Saleh, the pride of UAE chess and Nihal Sarin. We have the first move, d4 on the board. Salem okay. over there plays d4 always. It's his main move. Will he play this opening is the main question. You can see there Nihal Sarin ready for the game. Shake of hands. The clock begins. What is Salem going to do? He goes d4, presses the clock. The same move that our guest of honor had made has been played. And Nihal Sarin now adjusts himself in the chair and is going to play his move. What is he going to do? He can play d5. He can play knight f6. He can play c5. He can play g6. He can play the Dutch defense with f5. He can play g6. So many options that Nihal Sarin has up his sleeves. He now adjusts all his pieces. He's like, let me get them in order. And what is the move going to be? Two really players with differing styles are facing off against each other. D4, D5 played. Salem is this guy with a lot of energy and aggressive chess. He plays the Queen's Gambit. C4 on the board. And Nihal Sarin plays C6. We have the slow defense. Just what we expected. And Salem is known for playing aggressive systems against this with a pawn sack line with g3. Knight f6, Nihal also gets his knight out. Now the main move here is knight c3 or e3. But Salem goes for g3. We are going to see an aggressive system. Will Nihal take this pawn? No, he goes g6. We are now maybe in some solid territory. Nihal is not ready to take this pawn and play that position against Salem because then White would have the initiative. So Salem develops his bishop, bishop g2. I believe Nihal will also play his bishop to g7. He also does that. And now what's going to happen next? Will Salem castle or will he play something else? He's thinking there. It's going to be very interesting to see what is his opening idea going to be. He castles it. Whoa, interesting. And Nihal Sarin also quickly castles it out. So. This is known as the solid variation in the Grunfeld system with c6 and d5. White has queen b3 as an option, queen a4 as an option, cd5 as an option. Many, many options here. He goes queen b3. He puts pressure in the center. Also, the bishop cannot move now because the b7 pawn is attacked. What is Nihal Sarin going to do? He takes his time for this move and pushes his pawn to a5. Very interesting move because here you want to push the queen away with a4. And now Salem can take on d5. That is one possible idea. He goes rook d1. That is his preparation. A new idea by Salem Saleh, it seems. Or maybe it has been played before. We'll have to check the opening theory for that. And Nihal Sarin now down to 1 hour 27 minutes. Is this move new for him? Salem gets up from his chair. He's showing confidence. He's here for the kill. He wants to fight. Nihal has thought now for 25 minutes. One hour, two minutes on the clock. He plays a4. He attacks the queen. Where will the queen go? Queen can go back to c2, but then it will be get hit by the bishop. It can go to b4, a3. Some possibilities there. Or he can even swing the queen over somewhere to e3. You can see Nihal waiting for Salem to come back. He has a, had a very long think here, 27 minutes. Salem comes back, writes down the move. One hour, 30 minutes on the clock. He plays queen b4 again in his preparation. Wow, that is very impressive by Salem Saleh, really preparing deep. And now what will Nihal Sarin do? What is his idea? Will he take the pawn on c4? Will he play rook e8 to keep an eye here? Because the queen is actually looking at the e7 pawn. Nihal Sarin, wow, he's ready with this move. He goes queen a5 and he's ready that if Salem takes here, then rook e8 and the e2 pawn is hanging. Amazing chess here. What will he do? Will he take here and then we'll get into an end game. This end game is quite interesting because white can hit the rook. He can go 95, unleashing the bishop. Many, many possibilities here. Salem Saleh thinking, I don't know. He's not, he does not like end game so much. So he takes on a5. Presses the clock. Nihal Sarin, of course. Oh, what? He's offered a draw. He's offered a draw. No, no, come on. Nihal. Oh, Nihal accepts it. A draw in 10 moves. 